Good eye, mates. Over the decades, we've seen plenty of mascot platform. I'm, okay, I'm not I'm gonna stop doing the voice, actually. Over the decades, we've seen plenty of mascot platformers try to wrestle the title of best platform game from underneath Mario 64. <laughs> to varied success. And while I wouldn't want to risk insinuating that today's chosen topic is superior, I think Ty the Tasmanian Tiger is the best mascot platformer. Suck it, Crash. Beauty! Butler! Bonza! I got one! Before anyone starts telling me my subjective opinion is wrong, I only love Ty the Tasmanian Tiger as much as I do because of nostalgia. It's one of the earliest games I remember playing on the PS2, so for me, it's competing with the likes of Metal Gear Solid 3 and Resident Evil 4. Also, please don't mistake that for me saying it's as good as those games. It's quite clearly not. But that doesn't mean it can't have a relatively special place in my heart. So why is that? Well, if it had to be one reason only, it'd be because of the Aussies. Australians are just inherently funny. There's no getting around that, and there are three reasons for it. One, their cultural sense of humour is top-notch. Two, the accents are excited, yet endearing. Oh, maybe a little bit of pud then. What a bloody surprise, mate, you got room for pud. <laughs> you love your pudding. Alright, there's always a little bit of room for pud. And three, the fact that they live in a country with countless massive, potentially deadly creatures, and somehow never brag about it. Australians are just pure, wholesome, chad energy, through and through. And all those characteristics combined make this game's protagonist, the titular Ty, a genuine joy to play as. You beauty! That joy doesn't just pertain to the characters either. The gameplay masterfully furthers the light-hearted, if goofy, nature of the Outback. Gliding around the world using boomerangs is an inspired cliché, made all the funnier because there are different types of boomerangs, each with their own special abilities. You've got your flamerang, your frosty rang, the zappy rang, zoomerang, multi-rang, infrarang, the mega rang, kaboomerang, chronorang, and the doomerang. A lot of them don't really do much, but the wide variation is pretty bonza. Plus, throwing a boomerang at an enemy is consistently satisfying. Knocking out lizards isn't all those boomerangs can be used for them. This being a collectathon, you'll be tasked with gathering all sorts of collectibles during your time in the outback. Mystic talismans, thunder eggs, opals, little rat looking friends that have been trapped in cages, and of course, golden cogs smashing! Personally, I find a lot of collection based games get pretty dull really quick. I don't feel that with Ty and Friends though, and that's mainly because of the variation in music and environment. Just as I'm starting to get bored of swimming around the sun-soaked sea, I've finished my checklist of items and I'm teleported to sandy desert roads where I'm free to cause carnage from on top of whatever this monstrosity is. Compared to most platformers released today, the imagination of variation is staggering. No, oh, this is bad. Really bad. Honestly, the only place Ty truly shows its age is in its visuals and a few clunky control choices involving the camera. Apart from that, especially with the HD remasters, it holds up pretty damn well. Maybe I'm just nostalgic for a time long gone. Or maybe Ty the Tasmanian Tiger is a damn good game that deserves your support. I'm so glad Chrome Studios managed to reach their crowdfunding goal and bought Ty back. And with the HD version of Ty 2 Bush Rescue already out, as well as remasters of Ty 3 and 4 on the way in the future, I'm holding out hope for a whole new Ty adventure. Not too much hope though, these games typically don't do so well. Still, you never know. Thanks for watching this shorter than usual video guys. Are you a Thai fan? Have you played the HD remasters? Please do feel free to let us know all your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video and wanted to share your support, please consider liking the video or even subscribing. And if you want to help support the channel even further, our Patreon is in the description. We appreciate any and all types of support. Thanks again for watching and cheers.